On National Women's Day, we could look at five influential female architects. Although women have been involved in architecture for centuries, their contributions are often overlooked in a male-dominated profession. One of the most prominent early women architects was Julia Morgan. Julia Morgan's career spanned over four decades and she designed over 700 buildings. She is perhaps best known for her work on the Hearst Castle in California, which she designed for the newspaper magnet William Randolph Hearst. Morgan's designs were characterized by her use of local materials such as redwood and her attention to detail and functionality. She was also known for her work in earthquake resistant design, a critical part of designing architecture in California which is prone to earthquakes. Throughout her career, Morgan received numerous accolades and awards for her contributions to architecture. In 2014, she was awarded the American Institute of Architects Gold Medal, which is one of the highest honors in the field of architecture. She was also awarded the Women's Day Achievement Award in 1946, and she continues to be an inspiration to female architects around the world. Denise Scott Brown is a pioneer in architect whose work has spanned over six decades. She is renowned for her work on urbanism. Throughout her career, she's challenged the male-dominated profession of architecture and urbanism, and she co-wrote the book Learning from Las Vegas with her husband, Robert Venturi. Robert Venturi has taken most of the accolades for the works they've worked on together, including the book which Denise Scott Brown has spoken out about publicly many times. 1991, the Pritzker Award was awarded to Robert Venturi, despite many thinking that it should have been an equal award to him and his wife, Denise Scott Brown. Dame Jane Drew is a British architect who made significant contributions to architecture, particularly in the post-war Britain. She was one of the first female architects to gain international recognition for her work, and her achievements continue to inspire people today. She was born in 1911 and studied at the Architecture Association School of Architecture in London. After completing her studies, she worked with several prominent architects, including Le Corbusier and Maxwell Fry. She was also known for her architectural work in Asia and Africa. Throughout her career, Drew received numerous accolades and awards for her contributions to architecture. She was the first woman to receive the prestigious Royal Gold Medal Award. Zaha Hadid was a British Iraqi architect who was regarded as one of the most influential architects of the 21st century. Her distinctive and groundbreaking designs are known across the world and have inspired millions. Hadid's work spanned over four decades and her most notable work is the Guangzhou Opera House in China, the London Olympic Aquatic Centre for the 2012 Olympics and the Maxi Museum in Rome. Her designs were characterised by fluid shapes, intricate geometries and curved forms. She was one of the first architects to start using computational design as part of her work. Throughout her career, Hadid received multiple awards and accolades for her work in architecture. She was the first woman to receive the Pritzker Prize Award, which is notably the most prestigious architectural award to date. She was also awarded the Royal Gold Medal by the Royal Institute of British Architects, the Sterling Prize and the Reba International Prize, among many others. Neri Oxman is a renowned Israeli-American designer and professor at the MIT Media Lab, who combines design, biology, and computational work in her designs. She coined the phrase material ecology to describe her work, which places materials in context and embodies environmental design and digital morphogenesis. Oxman's work often involves inspiration from nature and biology. Her work is characterized by brightly colored texture surfaces and composite materials whose hardness, color, and shape vary over an object. Many of her projects involve new techniques for 3D printing and fabrication, including co-fabrication systems using silkworms, bees, and even ants. Oxman's work has been exhibited in the MoMA and the Centre Pompidou. Marianne Mahoney Griffith was an American architect who played a significant role in the prayer school movement in architecture. She was born in 1871 and studied at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Mahoney Griffin worked closely with Frank Lloyd Wright and her influence was a big part of him developing some of his most iconic pieces of architecture. She was responsible for many of the drawings and renderings for his work, including the Robbie House. Mahoney Griffin did also work on her own architectural work, including houses in Australia and America. Her designs were characterized by their use of natural materials and their integration with the surrounding landscape, which can also be seen in Frank Lloyd Wright's designs. Throughout her career, Mahoney Griffin received several accolades and awards for her contributions to architecture. In 2011, she received the Gold Medal Award from the Royal Australian Institute of Architects, which is the highest honour in architecture in Australia. Despite facing numerous challenges, it's important to recognise the contributions that women have made in the field of architecture. 
From the iconic Julia Morgan to the inspiring Zaha Hadid, women have been involved in architecture for centuries and have made a significant contribution to the development of the field. While I've only discussed five in this video, there are potentially many others that have been just as significant and influential to women in architecture who continue to provide a platform for future generations.